Hi, I'm Nathan White, and this is Dave Young. Uh, Dave, a lot of people are still wondering, double dip recession or not? A lot of pundits, market experts, economists, people calling for a double dip. What do you think? I think it's been way overblown. It's been one of those big scaries that, that they throw out there and they just can't you know, stop talking about. I mean, it was back and forth as far as, as people going off on it. And, uh, you know, maybe it's going to happen, maybe it's not, maybe it is. And then I know recently one of the, the big firms came out and said, oh, it's absolutely going to happen. You know, they used their diffusion index and right. said that, you know, that's called it every time for the last, every time they've done it and they're calling it again. A lot of people piled on that bandwagon. Uh, but to me, the, the whole recession thing has always been overblown. And the reason I've had a hard time believing it is just because a lot of the underlying economic numbers didn't reflect that. Uh, you know, going forward, as far as the ones that just came out, the state coincidence indexes for October increased in 43 states, uh, decreased in five, and held steady in two. Uh, consumer confidence jumped 15 points. 15 last points. Month. That's huge. Right. That, 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 that's that's like a recession, a, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's the biggest number since April 2003, since as far as I think. And that was the last time we had a big pop. Right. right? Uh, consumer expectations jumped 17 points. Last month, that's huge. That's the most since May 2009. Uh, I mean, right. it, and people say the consumer's dead, right? Yeah. They've been saying that oh, since yeah. 2009. Yeah, the consumer's dead. Right. Well, one other piece is uh, Ned Davis Research has a, a recession expectation index that they, they use. It was at about 20% about a month ago, a 20% chance of reception. Now it's moved to a 1% chance of recession. Right. You know? And then today. It was today, uh, like the PMI, so we have business business activity, and the index came in at 62.6, which was ahead of the highest expectation. Uh, ADP employment report, 200,000 payrolls, um, well above expectations. So it's not like all the economic data isn't great. It should be probably better, but it's growth and it's not recession. That, that's Finding the key. Is, it's, right. it's not recession. It's not going down. It's not declining. It's not, I mean, we're nowhere close negative growth. Right. You, you know, I mean, all these indicators are, are very, very positive looking right. forward. And so it's like the coincident and even the leading indicators, which the leading indicators were moderating, but now they actually picked up with the last indicators, which actually means economic activity could pick up. And, you know, inventories are running low, things like that. And so it's, it's helping corporate profits and, and this, Recession that's everybody's looking for. Where yeah. is it? No, and and we ha we definitely haven't had it. Uh, I mean, right now today everything is looking really pretty darn good. Uh, you know, looking forward, you've always got the big scaries out there. We don't know what's going to happen right. with Europe. That's an overhang. Europe might be in recession right. now, even though we're looking great. Right. So you know that that seems to be one of our biggest problems is just what Europe's doing and and, okay. and, and and where they're at. But as far as where we're at, you know, we're not in a recession. Okay. So no, re no recession for now? No. All right. Thanks for watching Paragon TV.